welcome back today is a new day and i want to do something a little bit special something that i want to translate the vibration i feel of the creator coming through me the inspiration i get that like hell yes feeling and i want to capture it for you to feel it and get into the flow with it so today is a day that you're going to feel more clear and more focused than ever Today you're going to remember and realize what you are capable of and reach for more and realize that you are co-creating, that you are creating with the creator coming through you if you can relax and move into this flow and feel through it all the way through your day, be guided. And it can last a couple minutes when you get better, it lasts an hour. When you get even better at practicing, it lasts multiple hours, you fall out, you get back into the flow. It can last days, it can last weeks. This can be a lifestyle when you when you channel this energy and move it through you and allow yourself to be guided and surrender and follow the path, the surrendered path. That's how that all started. So today you're gonna to find more curiosity. You're gonna find more intuitive led moments of what feels fun and light and freeing and what feels bliss and joy. Because when you dream and expand and you believe in the next level and the next level of what is possible, you will see further than you have ever before. There are so many books that will start to stand out to you and that's what you should read. A path that will look inviting to walk, a way to drive, a new restaurant you wanna try, a person you will feel nudged to begin a conversation with. It all becomes intuitively led and you create your reality and you imagine finding everything you need. Imagine having peace and stillness and finding the exact situation which your heart desires most to experience and imagine finding it in front of you and pray and see it is done and not worrying, which is imagining that exactly what you don't want and feeling the emotions. So do not pray for what you don't want with worry. Imagine how good it can get. What do you want to experience? When you can get clear, the student is ready and the master will appear in a variety of ways. When you do not focus your attention, limiting yourself on that which you do not want and letting that play out in the mind, you start to act and force things following that path. Instead, you can surrender and feel your way there with feelings of bliss and focus on it being here, the feeling, the idea, that which you want to experience, the excitement, the anticipation, the emotions behind it. Close your eyes and that's it. That's how we pray. When you relax and quiet the mind, you can see more and hear more and know more. And when you do this at a deep level, you can bring that which you know forward to the waking mind for the body to follow. You can find interviews which you desire to hear. They will have codes and words of what you desire to know. You will deeply understand the words. You will transcend limiting beliefs of the mind and get into a creative state deliberately. That which you desire, you will find like a magnet being pulled towards you. You don't need to force it. You just finesse it. You let it unfold. And source will amaze you. Source is coming to and through you. Anything is possible. Let source amaze you. Raise your levels of tolerance and believe in yourself. Do you have limiting beliefs that good things don't happen to you, that you have to suffer, you have to be in pain, you aren't good enough, you aren't whole, you aren't complete, you did it wrong, you said this thing wrong, this person thinks this wrong thing of you? These are all judgments from within. These are all limiting beliefs and programs in the subconscious mind separating us from connecting to the divine because these are not the frequency of the divine. The creator coming through you knows no limits. Why are you limiting yourself? Why are you doubting? Feel your way there, learn something new. What does your intuition bring up from you? Before you say no to that next great idea or putting yourself out there in the uncomfortable unknown, which is the best place of growth, before you say no, what if you said yes? What if you drove somewhere different? What if you met with somebody different? What if you showed up differently into a situation? You are entering a chapter of rapid learning and rapid expansion where each lesson led here. Each person in your life has been for a purpose or you would not be listening to this if it wasn't your destiny. So clear your mind and clear your schedule of the mundane things keeping you busy as much as you can and just focus directly on the feeling and this is the last thing, and maybe the thing that you need to hear most, is you can't get it wrong. You cannot not do enough. This is your path. This is your masterpiece. Let the brushstrokes land where they may. Follow your intuition. Follow that feeling of guidance. Not that small feeling, the big feeling behind it, the whispers. 
These are blocking you. These are limiting beliefs. Follow that flow coming through, that feeling of joy. If your thought is fear-based, it's not from the creator. Joy comes from the creator, that feeling of flow. That is the creator coming through you. And see that which you desire and more unfolding before your eyes. Carve your own path with your mind full of feelings and ideas that feel good to you. That is for you. That it feels balanced and blissful and peaceful and beautiful and creative and imaginative. Let that guide you. Let imagination guide you. How good could it get? Be creative, imaginative, loving, fun. What feels good, feels fulfilling, feels important, feels right, feels clear, feels direct, feels unlimited, feels source, feels all, feels nature. Know what is not spoken. Feel what is there. Feel for that hell yes. Feel if it's a hell no. And do not settle for anything that is not a hell yes. Find your hell yes. Find the feelings of freedom, unlimited, expansive. That is the creator coming through you. Stay in this flow and enjoy your day. Journal and see where it leads you. Sit in silence. Get in nature. Live your day to the fullest. And then wake up tomorrow and find this feeling again. And if today you get knocked out and you find yourself being limiting, judgmental, all of those things, let them go. Thank them. Find the little root seed and remove it. Remove it. If you don't know how to do this, read Letting Go by David Hawkins, read The Emotion Code, or find any other person who can lead you through this. There are people like me all over the place. There is not one path to removing limiting subconscious beliefs. There are many, and you have to find the one that resonates with you. How I do it might not be the way it works with you, but how I do it is way exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, exactly what I'm supposed to be sharing, and it has changed my life profoundly. And you are entitled to those same profound changes. So how are you going to show up today? Thank you for being here. Your time is your currency and I value your time and I am grateful that you were here with us and appreciate you. If you have any comments or thoughts or anything that came up for you, share below in the comments. People love reading them. And if anybody came to mind, feel free to send this video to them and keep the conversation going. It is not an accident if somebody comes to mind. So follow your intuition, follow your guidance, follow your inspiration. And thank you for sharing this conversation and keeping it going. Have a beautiful day.